Well, it's a joyful night inside Powell Hall. The Symphony Orchestra is putting on their first live performance, believe it or not, in five months. And Fox 2's Rocky Madden is in Grand Center to show us how it all went. Rocky, a lot of people excited. Oh my gosh, it smiles everywhere tonight because people walked in. We are in the foyer here at Powell Hall, and as you can hear, it's quiet, and you can see nobody's here. Tonight's performance only an hour long because of COVID-19, but let me tell you, it was a big night for symphony lovers, the symphony, and everyone else involved. The sounds of music once again fill Powell Hall. We talked to the music director just before the performance began. I'm so impatient to uh, finally see again our audience, to feel them behind my back when I'm making music. Super exciting, like I have season tickets every year and I've missed them since the fall, so it's great to be back today. Well, yeah. I've missed it. Yes, I have. Pal can hold almost 2,700 people tonight. They were permitted to allow 700 inside, but they kept attendance to an even lower number. Because we're just returning slowly and gently this month, we're limiting to 300. They've taken many precautions, including touchless ticketing, social distancing, everyone has to wear a mask, the entire hall had a thorough cleaning, and the bars are closed. We are withholding on selling food and beverage for the time being, just to minimize contacts and likelihood of people getting infected. I think it's probably a good idea, you know, to be a little bit, little bit more cautious. After our second vaccination, more than two weeks ago, we we were wanted to celebrate, and uh, it being the first time open, we thought this would be a great celebration spot tonight. Everybody is just joyful because they love to perform. And history does repeat itself. Back in 1918, the symphony, St. Louis Symphony, had to deal with the Spanish flu, Spanish-American War, the flu that came back, they said, with the soldiers. And uh, some of the similar guidelines, they tell me, that they were following back then, we are following today. Reporting live here at PAL, Rocky Madden, Fox 2 News.